Hey Facebook family, what's up? It's your boy Jay Veal, aka CEO of INC Tutoring, aka Celeb Tutor, aka Mass Surgeon, however you know me as. Um, right now I'm gonna give you a third level of completing the square using a fraction. Now some of y'all gonna be like, man, I don't even like fractions. I hate fractions. I don't even want to do fractions. I don't even want to see fractions, right? But it's all good. Slow your roll. I'm here to help you walk through this problem. And uh, you'll see it's actually easier than you thought. You just got to remember the basics of fractions and adding and subtracting fractions. That's all. And uh, you can complete the problem. So let's look at the problem and see what we got. We have 2x squared today or tonight minus 5x plus 3 equals 0. Now, normally, we start off completing the square where this right here, remember, this is our coefficients A, B, and C right here. C is our constant, obviously. But the ones we were doing before had coefficient A of 1. Now we have another number 2 here. So we're going to have a little bit of a different issue. So first thing I'm going to do is try and get it in standard format, which is AX squared with the, with the coefficient of 1. So I'm going to divide this whole equation by 2. All right, and I'm going to get x squared minus 5 over 2x plus 3 halves equals 0. Now you're looking at that problem like, um, not a good look. But it's all good though, right? <laughs> uh, all we got to do is just complete the square, okay? It looks like a hot mess, but I'm going to make it a good mess in a minute. So here we go with that. We're going to take 3 halves and subtract it to the other side. What we do to one side, we do to the other side. So we cancel this out right here. What we have left is x squared minus 5 halves x. All right. And then we're going to set that equal to negative 3 halves. All right. At this point, we're going to need to complete the square. So we're going to have to divide the middle term by 2. Now, I would divide this whole thing by 2. But mind you, 2 is also considered a fraction of 2 over 1. So 5 over 2 divided by 2 over 1. When we divide by a fraction, we do what? We multiply by the reciprocal. So what we got to do is we got to flip it. We got to flip the script. So we get 5 halves times 1 half is 5 over 4. All right. So now we have x squared, okay, uh, minus 5 halves x. And then 5 over 4 squared is 25 over 16. So we get plus 25 over 16. All right, equals negative 3 halves plus 25 over 16. Now you're like, dang, I don't even know how to do that fraction though. Nah, you better know how to do that fraction because that was back in the day. We're going to bring it up to the front right quick though. So here we go. We're going to take 3 halves. I'm going to simplify it right here. We're going to take 3 halves. The common denominator between 3 halves and 25 over 16 is obviously going to be 16. The greatest common denominator. So 25 over 16 right here, 16 there, 16 there, negative, and we're going to add. So we all know that 16 goes into 16 one time. So 25 is there. 2 goes into 16 eight times. So we're going to multiply the denominator by 8. So 3 times 8 is 24. So we get negative 24, right, um, over 16. Negative 24 plus 25 is positive 1. So now we're going to get x minus 5 over 4 squared, okay, because that's what this was. That comes here. So x minus 5 over 4 squared equals positive 1 over 16 because negative 24 over 16 plus 25 over 16 equals 1 over 16, okay? Make sure you have that down. Don't mess that up, all right? The next thing we're going to do, okay, is go on ahead. And let me get that kind of shadow out the way real quick. So next thing we're going to do now is simplify this. So we're going to have to square root both sides to get rid of this guy right here, this square. So we square root both sides, get rid of the square and the square root. We drop it like it's hot, as I say, x minus uh, 5 over 4 equals positive or negative 1 over 4. Square root of 1 is 1, square root of 16 is 4, so that's how we get that. And then the next step is to add 5 fourths on both sides. And again, we get a situation where the quadratic crosses the x-axis in two spots. So it's called um, a two-solution problem. 
So x equals 1 4 plus 5 over 4 and negative 1 4 plus 5 over 4. So our two answers are going to become 6 over 4 which reduces to 3 halves and 4 over 4 which is 1. All right. And those are my two answers, x equals 3 halves and x equals 1. My solution set is complete. This is how you complete the square with fractions. You can pause it, go back and take notes. You can look at it again if you want to. Go by step by step. Anything you want, we got you. All right? You need to holler at me, always email me at j.veal, V is in Victor, E-A-L, at inctutoring.com. Our Twitter is uh, at inctutoring. Our Facebook is uh, facebook.com forward slash INC tutoring. And of course, the website www.inctutoring.com. We make everything you need better. All right? We make everything in your educational goals better. And we want to make sure that you're successful. So definitely hit us up, and we'll see you next time. All right? Holla.